guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shelly and I'm a mom slash wife slash farm girl and a dog owner as you can see. Today I want to talk about incubating fertile chicken eggs. My daughters and I over the past four days have been collecting our own chicken eggs to hatch. It has been very hard right now to find baby chicks. I've called around to a few hatcheries and feed stores and the moment they hatch them, the, mom the moment they sell out. So knowing we had this incubator stored away, I figured why not hatch our own, put a little bit of science into it for the kids since they're homeschool now, and see what we end up with see what barnyard mix we get and also I'm gonna see if I can actually sex them right when they're born and we'll do it right on camera we'll learn together and we'll see if we got hens or roosters on day one going out and gathering eggs I've got 12 hens out there and one rooster we wanted to collect them over a four day period because I have several breeds out there and I wanted to make sure it gave everybody a chance to get a fertile egg in the nest box. So with collecting over a four day period, you want to make sure you keep your eggs cool while storing them. Um, they need to be typically between 55 to 60 degrees. So just cool, do not wash them, handle them as less as you can. You want to make sure when you're storing your eggs for incubation that you place the egg tip down, fat side up. This keeps your embryo alive prior to putting them in the incubator. So just make sure as you're putting them in, you're flipping them down and we should have some good eggs. After that, to set up your incubator, we basically have had this for several years now. Uh, we just went down to the local feed store, picked it up, um, probably was around 50, 55 bucks. We also bought an egg turner uh, that plugs in separately. It fits right into the unit and it automatically turns the eggs throughout the day. If not, you will have to manually turn your eggs three times a day. So you wanna get everything plugged in 24 hours prior to putting your fertile chicken eggs in here. Uh, this gives it time to get to temperature. Any fluctuations that need to be made can be made. You want your temperature to be at 99.5 and you want it to hold that temperature as best as it can throughout incubation time. Also, humidity is huge in here. For the first 18 days, these eggs need a 50 to 60% humidity to keep that embryo growing and a, basically a chick growing in there. These incubators do have a moat inside of them, a square moat, that is probably a half inch deep for putting water in. So basically fill that up and get it going. Also, ventilation is huge for this as well. The eggs will let out deoc carbon dioxide while the vents bring new oxygen in. So these incubators actually have pre-drilled holes on the outside corners to help with that. All right guys, so we've got 21 days till hatching. Uh, if you come on in here, I can show you we've put these chicken eggs in already. You only briefly want to open to check to put water in there and close it. I also want to make a note about the humidity once again. Once we get to day 18 of having humidity between 50 to 60 percent, 
we want to make sure we up the humidity after that. So that means maybe put an extra dish of water in there. It typically needs to be up to almost 75% to finish out the chick growth for the remainder of the few days. So I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys will follow along and we're going to do an update um, as soon as we see anything going on. If there's any questions, feel free to ask. I've raised plenty of chickens, done the farm life. Super excited to share this with you guys and with our children now that they're home from school during these times. And thank you again.